Hi, I thought I'd make this video. I have a John Deere. It's a D140. And I bought this hitch off Amazon or eBay, wherever I got it, you know. And I figured, let me make a video on how to install it on this. And mine's an automatic, too. So I have the automatic and I have the bagger. And it didn't get in the way of it. And I just decided to pop it up here. I pre-drilled my holes already. See the holes on the side? I left one to drill so I could show you. But I just kind of placed that there. You know what? This is going to be tough to do without the phone pointing at it. So let me see if I could kind of balance the phone somewhere. I, I really can't. <laughs> well, either way. So the drill bits I use. Let me show you the drill bits I use first. So I started off small. I went with a 332nd to a 532nd, which was ridiculous. You don't have to jump that, that low. And then I went to the 1564th. Now on the bottom, my final hole was uh, that one, 2564ths, was perfect for the bottom holes on the side. The top holes, the perfect one was 1132nds, which is what I have here in this drill. And I'll show you. I'm going to drill that one out. See, I, I, I just ran them up slow in size because, you know, behind this is the rear end of the machine. I don't want to slip and hit anything. So I just quickly give it a... so I don't slip and the bolts for the top oh, that's the bottom one the bolts for the top are a little smaller they fit right through so that's the way I did that now, let me see if I can balance this phone somewhere where you could possibly be seeing me bolt this together that that might be close I'm not sure I just want to whip this bottom bolt on I'm kind of surprised it doesn't come with a with a lock washer so I'm going to whip the bolts through there really quick and the bottom bolts were a little bit larger than the top ones, which kind of surprised me that they were. And, um, you know, I just pre-drilled everything, got it ready. Okay, that's it. Where's my other? There it is. And I'm missing one wash, which is right here. And let's get that bolt in there now. Hmm. I wonder if I have this set. Yeah, I might, I might be able to fit this. No, I can't fit it under there. Oh, look, I can catch it with a wrench, maybe. Let's see what size it is. It's a larger one. Let's see if I can catch that with a wrench. Maybe I could just quickly sock it in place. I love these drill drives. You know? I love these. These drill drives are Tool. That was my unbelievable. Unreal. All right. I'm not even going to sock it all up right now. I'm just putting it there just to show you. Now, on the top, what happened with the top was they give you two different plates. Two different plates. Well, I, I said, oh, I'll put them both on. What do I care? Put them both. Well, the problem is with the John Deere tractor, you have these ribs. So the skinny plate lands kind of like on at a slight angle. It's this, this way. I said, you know what? That's not going to be a nice firm surface. So I'm going to put it here. Now, you know, I'm just making this video. I'm taking this apart. I'm going to spray, even though it's not important because I don't drive my tractor. I am going to spray some, uh, what do you call that? Rusty. Oh, God. What do you call that thing that prevents rust? I'm going to spray that in there. So see, I put the top bolts there. And... Again, I'm trying to catch this with one hand while filming. Yeah, I could do it. See, I put my top bolts in. And see, it's going to be kind of like that. Then you put the hitch right through here. And it holds it in place. And that's what it comes out like. It's not a hard thing to do. It took me maybe six minutes. I have some tools that I was using. But, um, you know, like I said, I just used the four bits. And that's it. I'm pretty happy with this. It worked out pretty well. And it does actually fit on 
with the bagger on the back, you know? And it's kind of nice because it gave me a choice. If I have happen to have a trailer that takes a pin and it's a little bit taller than this very low point, I could hook it on to the, to the higher one instead. I kind of like that. It's not the strongest hitch in the world, but it's definitely strong enough. You're not supposed to pull too much with these, uh, with these automatic transmissions anyway. In fact, I'm nervous about it. So I hope that helped anybody try and decide how to put this on. You know, and I was really going to do this. Now, the other thing, I could have flipped that upside down and made the bolts lower. But I thought the further apart, the better for strength. So I didn't flip it over. I could have flipped that upside down and made the bolts easier to get to from the bottom. I said, you know what? Let's go up as high as possible to for leverage. And if I get excited, I may add that second one. But you know what? On this rib... It's really not going to help much. I mean, how tight can you make the bolt? If you crank it tight, you'll flatten the rib and weaken everything. So I'm going to leave this plate out. And that's the way it fit. Look right between the ribs. Perfect. All right. Like I said, hope it helps somebody. Don't, don't hate on me, man. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a guy like you trying to get stuff done.